Good morning, Gisters. It's PJ and Mr. Lopez again. Excited for another day in the Bible. Really excited because we're going to stay in the same passage. Yeah. This passage has three key thoughts. If you remember a couple of days ago, we talked about faith. And I threw some love in there. And then we talked about love yesterday, right. Lopez. Yep. You were hitting that hard. And that was fantastic. Today, we're going to talk about that last thing. And we're, we're going to talk about hope. But before we dive into it, again, get your Bibles. Okay, pay attention, listen in, but really allow God to speak to you. It's not Mr. Lopez and I's wisdom. It's God's wisdom that we want to live our lives, and it's, it's God's wisdom that's going to help us. Yeah, so, Absolutely. All right, let's get into the Bible. We're in Colossians chapter 1, 1 through 8 once again. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God, and Timotheus, our brother, to the saints and faithful brethren in Christ, which are at Colossae. Grace be unto you and peace from our God, from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We give thanks to God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, praying always for you, since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of the love which ye have to all the saints, for the hope which is laid up for you in heaven, whereof ye heard before in the word of the truth of the gospel, which is come unto you as it is in all the world, and bringeth forth fruit, and it doth also in you, since the day ye heard of it, and knew the grace of God in truth. As ye also learned of Epaphras, our dear fellow servant, who is for you a faithful minister of Christ, who also declared unto us your love in the Spirit. Do you guys see that word in verse 5? For the hope which is laid up for you in heaven. I think one of the challenges that we have, Mr. Lopez, living the Christian life is we can't see heaven. Yeah. We don't know when it's going to come. I think we have in our minds this idea that I'm going to live a very long life. Of course, we don't know what a day may bring, but I think we have this idea right. we're going to live for a very long time. And so heaven is so distant. It's so far away that I think we lose hope in the Christian life. Sure. I think we struggle living for Jesus day in and day out because I don't see things. You know, I can see a video game. I can see progress I'm making in maybe my yeah. schoolwork. Right. But hope, the Bible word hope isn't just well, I wish one day I kind of hope this is going to happen. You know, I hope I get married one day. That, that's actually not what this word means. Right. Uh, in Romans, the Bible actually talks about the same word. And here in that passage in Romans 15, 13, it's, it has this idea of fully anticipating. You know, it was really a bummer. We didn't get to go to regionals this year. Uh, it completely just, ah! okay, COVID-19, ah! But what I saw in the kids was because they fully anticipated going to regionals. They worked hard. Yeah. They right. fully yes. anticipated winning. So their, their one-act plays were amazing. Group Bible speaking was fantastic. The short stories, the essays, the, the social studies and science projects. You guys poured your hearts into those things. The songs sounded so amazing. Why? Why were you working so hard for it? Because you hoped in getting a medal. You hoped in placing. That's what the Bible word hope means in Colossians. For the hope which is laid up for you. And so guys, I want to challenge you today. Live for Jesus because of the hope of heaven. Yeah. Live for Jesus because Jesus himself has said, one day you there are all the rewards that you're earning here will be there. Yeah. And so yep. I, I know it's hard. I know, especially in this COVID-19. I mean, I'm thinking about a couple of our seniors, Sydney or Aaron and, and others out there. I'm wondering if you've maybe lost hope in graduating at this <laughs> point in time. You're so close. And then COVID-19 says, ha, just kidding. No, you're going to graduate. Keep hoping. Fully anticipate what God has for you. Yeah. Fully anticipate what Jesus said is true, and there are going to be treasures laid up for me in heaven. Don't lose hope. 
So that's the encouragement today. This Super is what good. I want. I want to challenge you guys in this way. Text me, email me, comment on this video out there what you're hoping for. Not, I wish, you know, not, well, I hope one day I marry a babe. No! Okay? <laughs> I did marry a babe, but we're not going there. But, you know, what do you fully anticipate? You know, I hope to see maybe my brother or sister saved. I hope to see a family member saved. And it's not just, I kind of wish this will happen, but I'm anticipating God doing this. So there's the challenge for us today, living out that hope that one day our faith is going to become sight and we'll see our Savior face to face. Pretty awesome verses. I love it. All right, guys, let's pray. And we'll be finished today. Lord, we thank you again for everything you've done. I pray that you just uh, be with us, Lord. Help us to remember the hope of heaven, Lord. Lord, I know that sometimes we think about our rewards here being those rewards, but that hope is truly heaven itself, Lord. Lord, I thank you that you've just given us this reminder that we might be able to remember the things that are in store for us, Lord. Lord, help us to have hope here in this yes, world, Father. Lord, that we might be able to push forward and do more for you, Lord. But I pray that every single day we remember that hope that we have, that we've got eternal life with you one day. And Lord, we just thank you for that. Thank you for keeping us calm during this time, Lord. Yes. I know that hope keeps me going and thinking, I know that God is in control and he is doing everything that for a reason. And Lord, we just thank you again for everything you do. For it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Bye, guys.